Before we get into the video, I just want to say a huge thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I've worked with Skillshare in the past, but if you are unfamiliar with the brand, don't worry, I got you. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. But this time around, I wanted to do a class that really focuses on something I've been struggling with, and that is motivation and time management. But no, I found this class that is taught by Thomas Frank, who is also a YouTuber, an author, and an entrepreneur. The class is called Real Productivity how to build habits that last. You can tell from the titles that he really is not messing around. I mean, look at the second one. Perfect is the enemy of good. You might as well just say Ashley's problem right there. But of course, one of the best parts of Skillshare is that it really is an online community. Skillshare offers memberships with meaning. You can connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. Whether you're looking to fend off boredom, focus on self-care through creativity, or join a similar creative community, Skillshare is the place to keep you learning. So if this is something that is interesting to you guys or you want to try out, don't worry, I have a code for you. I have a link. I will set you up every single time. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So thank you again so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video and without further ado, let's get into it. Jake Gyllenhaal, welcome to your tape. Hello and welcome to Red Day or actually like Red Week because by the time this is up I'm officially the last person to get to this project. You know what? That's okay. Decided to wear a little scarf today. I had so much fun dressing up for like the fearless re-recording with the hat. I still have it up there too. She might make an appearance. Depending if Taylor kept the yeehaw accent, we will see. But I had to wear the scarf in honor of Red. I mean, it's kind of ugly and I don't know how to wear it because I'm from Arizona. What would I do with a scarf in the middle of the desert? I don't know. But we have a lot to do today. We're gonna be listening to the re-recorded songs, listening to the vault tracks, and we have a short film for All Too Well. Okay. Uh. I love that the Fearless Taylor version rollout was literal crumbs. And now we're having a whole on feast. Like, okay, Taylor, say which one is your favorite album. We know. And yes, he is going to be here the whole time, so when I get angry, I can just look at him and feel good about myself. Already I can tell such a difference with the production. The drum, it's so emphasized. Why is that? It kind of gives me like a live feeling. Like if I was to listen to a live album, I feel like that's what I would hear. I never all those like little voice voice soul I was gonna say voice and vocal together I hope she keeps those little charms like obviously the difference between her recording red and now her voice has matured so much her vocal growth is so apparent but there are little charms and like just little things about red that I really appreciate <laughs> I have to say how much I love that line. Driving a new Maserati down a dead end street, you get this new and exciting thing. You're so excited to take it down and drive it and test it out and just do what you want with it. But there's no way that it can actually go anywhere. You know what I mean? Like, Missing it was dark gray on the I was curious to see if she was gonna keep that backing ad lib. I love, love that ad lib. I'm waiting for the bridge, let's go. I wanted that note a little more in the forefront, but you know what? I will take what I can get. You know what, I do have to say something real quick as an ex-harmonizer or a former harmonizer, however you want to title it. Fifth Harmony's cover of Red really had Miss Swift running for her money. Alright, Miss Treacherous. I might kind of go through this one pretty fast. No notes really on this song. It's cute. The way that you quick this love is treacherous. I like it. Taylor, 
I'm sorry, but if listen to me right now. We're gonna have one-on-one -on -one sesh. If you can relate to this song because you like a love that is treacherous, you think that's what makes it exciting, honey. No. We need to discover what real love is because real love makes you feel warm, comfortable, and content. You should not be worried about what is going on or who you're gonna meet the next day. <laughs> like that. No! I knew you were trouble when you walked in. The cold hard ground. Ooh! Ooh! I like how they switched up the production a little bit. It's very subtle. Very subtle with that build up to the chorus. Ooh! I, that's why I was like sitting here trying to listen because I was like, from what I remember, it was really like present throughout the entire thing, but that really made the drop in the chorus just like hit so much harder. Okay, Miss I Knew You Were Trouble. Two things I remember when I think of this song as well. The Selena Gomez dance cover. I was obsessed and I wanted to learn it so bad. I knew you were trouble when you walked in. And the Brit performance of this song. I think I've said it before, I will probably say it until my dying breath. That is one of her best live performances. Ooh, girl. And with that, we're getting to your song, bud. How are you feeling? <laughs> I honestly was debating like skipping all too well because we're gonna get to the 10 minute version, but. Just to break me like a promise, so okay, now that um, there is so much hair in my lip gloss, let's keep going. So the next one, 22. Honestly, imagine writing a song that becomes a rite of passage when you turn a certain age. Iconic if you ask me. I don't know one person who turns 22 and does not celebrate with this song. Like you have to. Wait, wait, wait. So this is one of the ones that she has a bit of a like yeehaw. So if I have to get my hat, I will. Let me listen to the first line. It feels like a perfect night to dress up like hip. Wait, why do I kind of miss it? In honor of Yeehaw Taylor being dead in the ground. Alright, next one. I almost do. So this one... How do I say this? This is not one of my favorites. No. Tell you not to call you. Am I keeping the hat on? I think I am. I remember when we broke up the first time when you said you needed space. What? Together we Did that sound different or was that just me? That sounded like we were on a roller coaster going, Wee! We are never no, it sounded kind of the same, but kind of different. Is that just me? That we's different. Maybe I'm different. No, it's different! With some indie record that's much cooler than mine. Ooh! It's exhausting, you know, like we are never getting back together. Like, ever. Back together! You know what's so funny? I haven't heard this song in particular probably in years. And it's one of those songs that, like, there are so many breakup songs in the world, right? Like, since the beginning of music. But this is a song where it's like, why didn't someone write this sooner? You know, like, so simple of a statement. We are never getting back together and using that as your chorus. Like, it's so brilliant. I was a songwriter and I heard this, I'd be like, damn, why didn't I think of this? Okay, time for the Target commercial song. Let's go! Listen, when it comes to stay, 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 oh, we have such a complicated relationship. Like, she's not a bad song per se, but she's just not the best on the album. The instrumental really gives me Target commercial. I'm sorry. I said that, I think, in my first video on Red. I'm still sticking to it. I said we should talk about it. This song really gives me whiplash. Like, I just, I don't know how I feel about it. Cause it's so catchy and it's so lighthearted and it like, there's nothing bad feeling about it, but there's just something that I cannot get fully behind. I feel like Stay, Stay, Stay is such a polarizing song. Like you either defend it with your life and you love it or you just can't stand it. I'm in the middle. I don't know what I feel. <laughs> I genuinely don't. It's so confusing to me.
at your door just like all those times before delicious hear the difference in her voice in this one with the maturity and the vocal strength. I was already gonna say like I heard it in the harmonies. The harmonies were so much tighter in the beginning than the original but wow. <laughs> good something that just really sticks out to me personally within the lyrics I can see how a lot of people would think that maybe the song's a little too repetitive but I think in this case it works with the whole situation the whole problem in the relationship you know she's just begging to be first <laughs> in this person's life and like to be there and for her to repeat like this is the last time I think it really showcases the turbulence in the relationship and how it really was never the last time so for it to be over and over and over again it just shows like how constant that feeling was present in her life. And I just think it's so brilliant and I don't know what it is with Taylor when she collabs with older men that just makes my heart sore. But suddenly I need a whole album of just like her with older men doing duets. They always hit. I don't know what to tell you. They just do. I'm out of breath. <laughs> okay, that's right. So now we're gonna get into some of the tracks that I'm like. It's so funny because you would think this song would be right up my alley. Like it has everything that I like, but for some reason I just cannot connect with it. Like I like it, but I don't love it. And I think that's what it comes to when it's the tracks on this album that aren't my favorite. I like them, but I just don't love them. Let's go, lucky one. Yeah, it's the same, okay. <laughs> yes, she got that in the angel. Oh my god, that's what I was saying earlier with like little quirks, little charms. Yes! Okay, I'm here. You're the lucky one. I actually still love this song. Don't look at me, okay? Cause all I know is to say hello. And your eyes look like going. Yeah. <laughs> um, everything has changed. <laughs> I'm such a bitch. She's not bad. Let me let me not be mean. Starlight is cute. She's just not up my alley. Like if we were talking about when I was maybe 14 and I you know, when like this came out. Scary to think that I was 14 when this came out. I think it was 14. Was I 14? I was probably older. Heels, but I do. Well, fuck him. Girl, if you want to be nine feet tall, do it. We say you didn't get this song, but I do. But on a Wednesday in a cafe, I watched it begin again. I think what makes this song so special is, you know, anyone that's gone through relationships or has gone through like a really bad relationship and you think, God, I'm never going to feel this way again. Get that feeling back of like really liking someone and getting those butterflies and being like, oh my God, like there's actually good people out there. It's such a special feeling and it's such a like, it's just a moment. Why could... Why couldn't she have just gone to her birthday? Was it really that hard to go to a birthday party? Who doesn't love birthday parties? You should have been there. Yeah. Should have burst through the door. Yeah. Like it was like slow Oh, the production. 
section on this one is a little amped up. Ooh, she got a little juice. Ooh, 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 ooh. She got a little oil change. She got a tire rotation. She's ready to go. Damn. This, is this song really is the definition of sad girl autumn vibes. Come back, be here. Girl at home. Girl at home was not my favorite either. That is different. Who is she? This <laughs> has Jack written all over it. I don't think she's moving on my ranking per se. I mean, I don't even remember what my original red ranking was. We will discover that later. What a like fun and fresh way to take on this song. You know what I mean? Like it made it very current with what people are trying to do. See, this is when it, it freaks me out because I'm like, I don't know how I feel. <laughs> oh, acoustic. Wait, did I say that right? Acoustic, acoustic, acoustic. That's the right way, right? Acoustic. I might actually skip her. We got a lot to go through. Ronan is next. When it comes to Ronan, I don't think anyone really has a place to criticize it. I don't think it's a song for music critiques. Like, it wasn't made for that. I know there's a lyric video that goes with it. I'm not gonna watch it because if I start crying, I probably won't stop. I almost don't wanna listen to it because it's gonna ruin my mood. I already know it. Brace cars on the kitchen floor, plastic dinosaurs. Come on, baby, with me, we're gonna fly away. My best for years. Moment with you. I hate this song. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm gonna get hurt? Probably better off on my own. Oh no. Middle of the night, I can feel you again. Ooh. I just bet See, now this is the thing about Taylor's music. Even if you're not going through exactly what she's going through when she talks about her situation in the songs, you can still relate it to your own. Like, why am I thinking about my father? <laughs> why am I thinking about my daddy issues? Why can't you just be there? It was always on your terms. Oh, 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 oh. Talking down to me like I'd always be around. Kinda loaded, I like this song because it's acknowledging like, hey, you know what? Throughout this whole relationship, I have felt so bad about myself and I thought it was me that was the problem because wherever I go, the relationship ends. But no, in this case, you just need to be a better man. And that's just the goddamn truth at this point. I mean, you don't go to a birthday party. Maybe Jake Gyllenhaal just doesn't know how birthdays work. <gasps> So you birthday. just gonna bring me a birthday gift on my birthday to my birthday party on my birthday with a birthday gift? Happy birthday, bitch. Well, you're young. Oh, God. Girls, go out and have your fun. Oh, no. Actually do it. You tell young girls out there, go out there, figure out what you like, what you don't like, play the field a little bit, but don't play it too much. Actually, whore, slut, tramp, kill yourself. Once I lost my novelty. No, everything at 18, but nothing at 22. At least How can you know everything at 18, but nothing at 22? Damn. I'm going through these emotions again. Lord already like put me through this little rinse cycle of emotions and pain. And now Taylor's gonna make me do it too. Did I go from growing up to breaking down? And I Me 
me out. I oh. wake up when I'm nothing new. Why is this one gonna make me cry? I'm gonna ask after every song. Hello, you're listening to Taylor. What is this? What about your promises, Babe. Promises? I'm like already drained. Babe. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna be dragging trying to get through this album because I'm just sad. <laughs> Why am I gonna start crying? <laughs> this makes me think too of what she went through and it's just sad. I mean, really think about it. What she was going through with her relationship, what was going on with her relationship with the media. Like, God, that is so much at one time for one person to take. Like, it genuinely makes me sad. <laughs> So many outside forces can take away your light and shine, and some of it's not even fair. Okay, what is babe? I need to get through this. Uh, oh no, I like it. <sighs> so that was a fucking lie. Like that kind of a vocal pattern, huh? There's so many songs. Wow, Lover is literally shaking. Not like the Lover song, the album. My brain is fried. It's very upbeat. I kind of get why it wasn't on the original track list because where would it go? That's what I was saying earlier about Red. I feel like the storytelling is so precise with what is on there. Granted, there's a couple songs where it's like, oh, you maybe could shorten it here, or like another one. Whatever, me nitpicking. This one's fine. Oh, message in a bottle, I hope it gets to you. My long lost lover. Girl, I don't think my long lost lover is even on the planet at this point. 3 a.m. and I'm still awake. I bet you just. The first line? The first line is 3 a.m. Get your ass to bed, Taylor. You know why he was awful? Cause she was up at 3 a.m. No wonder he's the devil. Better than me. <laughs> oh! Now that we're done and it's over, I was too late. Ooh. And I bet you think about me. your indie records that are much cooler than mine. Connection, connection, connection. Maybe that's what he was thinking about in this photo. He's like, damn, I got this pasta, but I really miss that ass. Well, I fall in love just so you can watch it go away. He spends most of his days up 3 a.m. pacing. See what I mean? Why are we up at 3 a.m.? I was like, hello, male voice. I drive away before I let you go. Don't say no. They actually sound so good together. Oh shit, out. No one to be, no one to tell. See this view hundred times. I don't know what it is about this one, but her voice is hit. Ting. I don't know if it's just like the duet with her and Ed like they just always sound so good together And he really compliments her voice and her tone. I don't know like she just sounds really phenomenal in this one Is that just me? Since I gave it to you, you. I do think it could have been a little shorter though Yeah, so remember how I was saying with um, the last time with it being repeated and everything, like it really had an emphasis on it being the last time, but not really. This one, I feel like it can get really repetitive really fast. So I do think this was a song that could have been shorter, but like I said, I really like her vocals on it. I pick you up and leave. 
we go back in time. Okay. Like it so far. Every weekend the same party. Oh, whoa, whoa. I'm here. Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh, girl. Oh, that was a nice little moment before we get to the 10 minute mess. <laughs> By mess, I mean masterpiece, but like, I'm gonna be a mess. That was fun. I hope you guys are putting respect on her name. If not, we are going to need to discuss why. All right, buddy. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta check in, see how he's doing. Hey, bud. So, we've already gone through this song, but we're gonna get into the 10 minute one. I'm assuming I'm gonna learn more about how shitty you actually are. So, this is your last chance to say anything. Would you like to tell the audience anything? about what we are about to experience. I am a little piss boy who likes the sound of my own ass clapping itself. Yeah, I figured. In your drawer, even now. In your future was me. You were tossing me the car keys, but the patriarchy. He's gonna say it's love. You never called it what it was. Discuss that first of all that scared me because I was ready to keep singing and then she hit me with with lyrics I didn't know and I had to remember hey girl You don't know this part sit back listen relax I'm gonna say it's love You never called it what it was and then you wondered where it went to as I reached for you But all I felt was shame. Ooh Everyone that was around her when she was dating him. How did no one? I mean, there's nothing you can really say to a young adult of like what they can or cannot do like that's up to them. But like, I really hope her support system around her was like, hey, he fucking sucks. You need to let him go. <laughs> Honestly, if I was Andrea, ooh, I would be in jail. For real, I'd be in jail. We are again in the middle of the night. We are again nobody had to know. Kept me like a secret, but I kept you like an oath. We swear to remember it all to us. So she said, that makes so much sense now at the end when it when she's like you remember it all too well like at that point It's kind of like an assumption like it's good storytelling whatever But that line just adds so much to the end because you know wow that really just added so much more to the story I'm so upset that this had to be cut down Originally, I mean I get it because if I'm a record label like executive I'm gonna look at a 10 minute song and be like who's listening to this? Wow, it adds so much to the story and that's what Taylor's known for is storytelling falling so much just happened it's supposed to be fun so is that why 22 is 22 because she had such a miserable 21st birthday so the next one she had to make up for it oh my god there's still four minutes I'm overwhelmed <laughs> you remember it oh it hits different Oh my god. Oh my god. That was such a seamless transition. Like it it took me a second to realize that it had switched over into like a new melody. And it's so funny because when I think of 
that whole ending, like it makes me think, I'm gonna say the T word, it makes it me makes think, me of, think tour. of tour. She does the whole song, she walks off stage, that part is playing, you get great visuals, like a whole atmospheric surrounding. Oh my god, that was a 10 minute break. That did not even feel like 10 minutes. That was a lie. You really suck. There was so much added. Like I said, I understand why the original is the original, but damn, the 10 minute version just added so much life, so much more story into it. And it really gave us a clear timeline. I'm very excited to see what the short film is going to be about. I kind of feel like that is also going to give me a little more information and a visual aspect of what really happened in the relationship. There is a last thing here. It says a message from Taylor. Let's see what she has to say. Musically and lyrically, Red resembled a heartbroken person. Happy, free, confused, lonely, lonely devastated. The These are the original 30 songs that were meant for Red. I love you guys. Aww, cute! I literally don't even know what to say, except let's get into the visual because I'm ready. I, I lied, I'm not ready. <laughs> are you for real? <gasps> what do you mean? I don't know, I just feel like maybe I made you up. Oh my god, I love Sadie. <gasps> oh my god, this literally is like a whole thing. <laughs> Somehow <gasps> we're matching! Left in your drawer, even now. An upstate escape? Oh my god, it's literally like we're gonna watch the whole relationship real quick. So it's saying it's gonna be different from a visual perspective. We're singing it. Car getting lost upstate. This is a place and I can picture it. So I know people had a problem because there is an age difference between the two, and it's so obvious that the age <laughs> difference is there. But that was the whole point, because that was Taylor and Jake. Yeah, like it's weird to see them making out. But I'm also like really jealous of Sadie. <laughs> Looking over me. Oh god, like they're literally making out. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable. But that's the point. That's the point. Okay, so we see a lovey-dovey couple. Nothing could be wrong. The first crack in the glass. Okay. Sadie looks so good. team. Oh. oh god. I hate this. I want to beat him up. I've never hated Dylan O'Brien in my life. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Why are you so pissed off? I'm not pissed off. You said I was pissed off. Because you're acting pissed off. It's ridiculous. I never said I didn't like your friends. Why I didn't like the way that you acted around them. Period. You dropped my fucking hand! Dropped your hand? Like, what, I don't even know, remember the moment that you're talking about. How can you be, like, attacking me about something? Oh, shit. Ooh, the gaslighting. Oh, hell no. I think I'm making you feel that way. I think you're making yourself feel that way. Oh, hell no! Know that I want to punch you in the nose. I'll beat your goddamn ass, you son of a bitch. These are people I haven't seen in like 10 years. And he's acting like, it's you, there, it's, it's not me, me. it's all in your head. What are you talking about? Oh, no, you? Well, no, I'm no, catching no, up no, with no, my friends. Trust me, they were. Come on, come on, come on. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. To forget who I need it to. <sighs> Fuck. Why would you pair that link with the scene, Taylor? Are you real? So then it's... God, the back and forth. This is beautiful though, so far. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God, the visual with the lyrics, it's just too much to handle. I didn't even get to talk about that lyric. Like, what does a 30-year-old want with a 20-year-old? You're in two different spots in your life. Some actress asking me what happened to you. Swifties, y'all had to figure out who it was. Let me know the story. <gasps> not the moment I knew. Oh, not the moment I knew. And there's an empty space. Oh, but really? Why do I have chills, you guys? Oh my god. Oh, that's cool. 
I'd like to be my old self again, but I'm still trying to find it. And at that age, you're growing and changing so much. You can't find your old self. You're constantly evolving. Oh, God. Sadie, actress of our generation. The remember. God damn, these phases. Oh, my God. I literally have chills watching this. The remembering is the worst part. Spider-Man? Is that supposed to be a Spider-Man reference? No, she is cruel. She's sick. Taylor is sick and twisted if that's a Spider-Man reference. Thirteen years gone? Oh, an author? <gasps> is that Tay? Oh my god, girl, you look so good as a redhead. <gasps> I just realized 13 years passed. Fuck you. <gasps> and the scarf. Oh my god, this was so good. Written and directed by Taylor. Wow. Damn, she did that. I mean, this literally was her life. It was beautiful too. The coloring, the feel, the way they like sectioned it to go with the song. You know, with the chapters of the relationship getting over it. I thought it was all great. The whole line of you remember it all too well definitely hits different. Now seeing that scene of like, I don't remember dropping your hand. Saying to this person, you know, I remember everything that happened from the heartache. It changed me as a person, whatever. But it's also kind of a slap in the face of like, hey, don't gaslight me anymore. Like, you remember this happening. You did this to me. I know you remember what happened between us. What do you guys think? I think the song definitely has, like, more meaning to it now seeing the visual. The song itself was so storytelling, but just having that in our face. And you know that comes from the heart. You know that that was a thing that happened. Oh, it's just so good. I literally don't know what to say. Yeah, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. What are your comments on the re-recording? What do you think is next? Let's just talk because this was a journey. Thank you for sticking with me if you're at this point. I didn't do a ranking for Fearless, but a lot of you guys told me that you wanted one from Red and I think it kind of works because I can give you an updated version of my red ranking so this is kind of what we're looking at right at the moment i know i'm gonna get basically murdered i mean you guys hate me for my rankings anyway but with red it's like you just can't win either way what is your ranking let me know what are your favorite vault tracks like i said let's just talk let's just gossip you know that was this video i hope you enjoyed and um i will see you in the next one question mark bye fuck you